Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna share my tips on how to clean your trailer when you're on the road. There's nothing worse than having a dirty trailer when you're on a road trip. And I've got a couple of tips that will allow you to clean your trailer, the exterior of your trailer, without using a hose. And you get really great results, and you can bypass the rules in a lot of campgrounds that says you can't wash your RV because you're really not washing it in the trip typical sense. So, let me roll that introduction uh, footage and I'll see you on the other side. All right, before I get started, let me shoot a little before video and you can get an idea of how dirty the trailer is. It's not super filthy, but it is dirty and I've done the real dirty areas, which were the front and the back already. Hopefully you can see here, there's a lot of dirt, such there. Sides of the trailer don't look too bad, but there, there's a film. And you can see on the front, the dirt there. And we got a few bugs along the awning rail. So all of this will clean up very easily. And I'm gonna show you. All right, so you can see my Airstream here behind me. And we've just got done taking a road trip um, over a thousand miles from our home base outside of Rochester to here in Destin, Florida. And we're in a state park and state parks typically do not allow you to wash your trailer. So I'm gonna show you a way to how you can clean it without using a hose, using a few simple products that I picked up along the way. And I will share that those tips with you. All right, so what do you need to clean your trailer without using a hose? Obviously you don't need a hose. You're gonna use a product here. It's called, it's called Waterless Wash and Wax. This is made by Chemical Guys and i really like their products i've used them on my cars I'm, I'm a big nut on detailing and making sure my cars are always clean and this is a great product and they, it's a great company to get some you can buy this on amazon um, you can buy it directly from chemical guys there's a couple different places you can get it but basically this was designed for areas where there's water restriction like california any place there's a drought and they're not allowing you to wash your car you can wash your car with this stuff in just about a quart of water so you might need a little bit more than that for the Airstream. And the way I do it, I use a little bit more water than that. But I don't use a hose. I don't rinse the, the trailer. I basically am just wiping it down with this product. So I bought this as a kit. And in the kit, it included this pump sprayer, which works great. So I take about, if you can see in here, I take about that much. So a couple of ounces maybe, no more than that and mix it with about a quart of water to two quarts of water in here. Now you just pump the sprayer up and then you can just spray. And what you do is you're gonna mist down the side of your Airstream. And then once you have it mist down, what I like to do, and this is a little bit different than the instructions. The instructions basically say, take a Microsoft microfiber towel and wipe the trailer down. I like to go a little step further. I have a bucket of water and I use a wash mitt and once I've sprayed it down I take the, a damp wash mitt I wipe down the side of the trailer I come back with actually two of these one of these is a little bit more damp I follow up essentially give that sec that area a second wipe down get all the dirt off of it and then with the second towel I dry now they say that what this product does is it helps lift the dirt away from the uh, finish of your vehicle and allows you to wipe it away without scratching. I like to use a little extra water to help float it away to make sure I'm not going to mar the finish on the vehicle. Another thing that this does is it leaves a finish on your vehicle like a wax. 
Now it's like a quick wax. So you've probably seen those spray detailers or spray wax that you can spray on your vehicle after you wash it. This is very similar to that when you're done. In fact, if you really want to, after you've wiped it all down and cleaned it all off, before you take and hit the dry towel on it, you could mist another coat on it and just give it another coating to give it a little bit more protection. But this works really good. It gives it a wax uh, finish. You can see water and everything will beat up of it just like it was just wax. It lasts a couple of weeks, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, but it is a great way to clean your trailer um, while you're traveling and not have to worry about water restrictions and such. So let's get going. I've got this side of the trailer yet to do and so I'm going to let you guys watch. I do a little time lapse here and you can watch me uh, as I clean off this side of the trailer. All right, so the trailer's all done, nice and shiny. Figure I'd come back here with the lights on it, give you a little walk around so you can see how good it looks. So this product is pretty decent. I've used it for a couple years now. I knew there was waterless car wash systems out there and I figured this was worth a try because I thought it would work very well for RV parks and cleaning your trailer up and when you're on a road trip and it does it does a really nice job so what's your part in cleaning the Airstream do you got a job mm hmm can we just dip this fuzzy tail in the water and use you as a wash mitt how about you Monty are you good at drying can you dry just to let you know no childs were harmed in the making of this film. Right? No charge. No childs were harmed. They were spoiled, but they weren't harmed. All right, so there you go. Washing your Airstream or your RV without using a hose. And it does a really good job. The trailer is nice and shiny. Um, it will last. And I think using the three towels and the wash, or the two towels and the wash mitt, does a good job it, it actually allows you to get a little more of the dirt off by hitting the areas a couple of different times and you get it all wiped off it looks really good well I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe and give us a thumbs up and make sure to hit the bell for notifications because we post new videos on a weekly basis and we'd love to have you follow along also leave us a comment how do you clean your Airstream how do you clean your RV do you have a process that you use when you're traveling? Let us know. Please share, with, please share your comments below, and we will see you down the road. Bye.